Hey, Viking here. How's everybody doing today? So it's time to get back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we got some more gear. Matt Kura, the mad scientist, found out we're about to get our map. Zelda shot off in a flame of light. And uh, now we're sitting by in a shelter. So, let's go. Okay. Um, if I can remember what we're supposed to do down here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already looked at all these things. Yes, I have too many weapons. Um, healthy cooking. Oh. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. Cormano. I can say that because I'm a newcomer. Ah, I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name is Bormano. and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix. I'll rev you right up. Oh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plumb out of apples. Aha! Uh -huh. If I don't have my, if I don't have my most important ingredient, take a bite of rich, full flavor. Oh. Hmm. My nose is detecting an aroma. Sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? I have plenty, I believe. Oh. Wow, you're really generous. I want quest items, that's why. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. <laughs> You're excited. I'm calling it Romano Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? I can do better than you. Two hearts. Ugh. Well. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. Yeah. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. I, I have. I have done this. Mine restore more hearts than yours. Ah, yes. Our new armor. More classic Hyrule look. Our nice. Hang on. I was expecting it to be... It's got a shield boss. I was expecting it to be a boss grip, center grip shield. We got two handles going across the arm. Strap and handle. I mean, it's a fairly common style. With planks held together with the iron rim, I assume. It's a nice shield. I like the little dragons on the outside. That's cool. Okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure... Remnants from the Zonai civilization have started popping up all over. This calls for the Zonai survey team. Uh. Well, should call for that. But instead, they've got me hanging out here till further notice. I spent loads of hours memorizing everything in Zonai survey team in the Zonai. Here we go again. Can't talk. Can't read. I spent. I've even spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonai survey team book over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the news in each region. So I'm even more prepared when the call comes. Mm -hmm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. They live out in the Hebra region, if I recall. It's in the snow fields of northwest Hyrule. Some surveyors... Grouse? Interesting choice there. About going there because of how cold it is. But all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance. And go to the Rito Inn to sleep in a luxurious fluffy down bed. I know, it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd send me out on survey already. Okay, uh, ooh, what's this? Zonai survey team's three big ideas. Surveying shrines, surveying chasms, our team's purpose. Stop reading. Let's go with chasms. Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. I, yeah, it may cause loss of limbs. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. So that must, maybe that's a environmental thing to deal with whenever we go down to a chasm. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Joshua, the leader of the chasm surveys. Hmm. Huh. Intriguing. Look at all this dust. Dust, 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 dust. <laughs> Hey, I know that face. Jaren. 
And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in the shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. Mm. But don't you don't get, don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spent so much time cleaning in here, and there's still endless amounts of dust. Mm. Where does all this dust even come from, anyway? <laughs> okay, don't don't piss off the cleaning lady. I'm done. I'm really the same. I feel that. Um, it's eleven. It's one thirty a.m. So it is still nighttime outside. Okay. Um, we'll sleep until morning. Do you make noises when you get up from bed too, huh? Guess he's older than we thought. I don't know if I should talk to you while I'm down here. Ah. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you'd like. Hi. I know what it is. Watch your footing when using the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling. Rather than using a tiresome ladder, ha! Huh? But I digress. Wait. That, hang on. We can do that. Can I? <laughs> Just for that. Just for that, I'm doing it. <laughs> Ladders. Who needs them? Normal people. Okay. Uh, let's. I want to talk to this dude. See if he can tell me anything about like an armory. I can at least find some other stuff. Fuck. Oh. Ah. Oh. Each sword handles differently, so it's wise to try different types to get used to the feel. That is accurate. If you know their handling and practice plenty, the fact that they're decayed won't matter much. That is a good point. Different weapons handle differently. Um, I done forgot Sky the talk to Pura and Joshua for the tower thing. That's right. Okay. Hmm. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh huh. That should do it. Hey Link, you're all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. What's that? Hey! Hey, we're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Hey! Okay. Oh, that's cool. Excuse me? Oh. Hello. This is neat. Get to see all the different ones across the map. That's awesome. All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. What am I doing? Ah. Hold the power pad over that terminal. Okay, so orange ones will be ones I haven't been to yet. Blue are ones that I have been to. I take it. Uh -huh. Alright, Sky Tower is now active on your map. That means you can use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. 
Same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your perk pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. The primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. You gotta give me one. <laughs> takes lots of skill, and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Paraglider. Yes, that's what I wanted. This item, given to you by Pura, lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate it. Ah. Right, showtime. Start with the test scan. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, alright? Uh -huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. From a safe distance, huh? Am I gonna die? When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. We'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck! And don't die! First test launch, huh? Never done this before, have you? Okay, um... Bombs away! Oh god. What is going on? Doc, 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 doc. Huh? Oh Jesus. What do I do? Pressing X. <laughs> Maybe it's not ready for me to activate yet. <laughs> oh. That's a way of doing it. Huh. Oh. Huh. I like the way they did that. Surface map updated. Sky? Sky map updated. Really? Now what? Glide. Where did I just come out of? Okay, um... Dive R. Split. Refresh? Okay, um, we're going to Oh. Well, I saw that coming. Try this again? Okay, um, we're gonna hit X this time. I think I was accidentally hitting Y when I tried to come in for a landing. So we're just going to... Keep diving. Archipelago. Ha. Huh. We're getting fancy with the names here. There we go. Can I just drop back down through here? Yes, I can. This is a much softer landing than the last time. And Santa died falling down the chimney. I don't know if there's anything I can grab onto. Perfectly timed, though. Okay. I'm curious what happens if I hit examine again. Skip. Oh, Lord. Okay. 
rockets me up. And then I start falling again. Okay. Much shorter trip that time. Okay. And they want me to go right back over here. Over here! Uh -huh. I'll come back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expect nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Uh -huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are sky view towers in every region in this world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Hmm. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. First report comes from Hebra to the northwest. The next is in Elden in the northeast. The Guer Gerudo, uh, not the Guerdo, the Gerudo, Gerudo Valley. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southeast, on the southwest. And finally, there's the Lanaru to the east. The strange phenomena are connected in these four regions, of course. Yes. Can't say for certain, but I've got a nagging suspicion that we may we might find out more about Princess Zelda. Looking into these phenomena. Hmm. Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put I don't put much stock in hearsay. I almost read that as heresy. Very different meaning. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Ah. Um. Before I forget, Link. We've asked Luce, huh? Hey, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help you in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help you out. <laughs> I'm sure she could help out in some way too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. <sighs> what? Ah. Sorry, can't talk right now. Something I gotta discuss with goggles right away with our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Raining. Goggles. She means the dude. Okay. Well, let's find goggles. You seem to have a level of importance to what you're doing. And I'm curious. Stop auto walking. Okay. Ah, what a pleasant morning. Hey, you. Is it true that you got the port bad? Ha! <laughs> Hang on. Ugh. Cora and I worked together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know? I should have called it the Robbie Pad, technically speaking. Aww. That doesn't that doesn't alliterate. Robbie Pad, Cora Pad. Cora Pad goes together. Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, oh um, yes. Sorry, what were you saying? So no, you weren't listening. Huh. I was saying that I wanted to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump in the chasm myself. Don't do that. No way. No how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow a young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. Mm. Oof, that was foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end. <laughs> ah! But I need more than. <laughs> ah. But I need more on that figure. 
If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. Yes, what figure? Huh. Oh, swordsman. Sorry, my name's Link. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Sure. Joshua, head of depth research. Head of depth research. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Oh, that thing that says pose. No, different thing. It's a piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing up on two legs with one arm raised? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. I will. I didn't know this. Though, well, I figured we'd be going down there. Didn't, just didn't expect to be voluntold. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for. Use your Purapat's camera to take a picture of it for Josh. Perfect plan. Camera. Oh. You don't know about the camera? It's one of the Purapat's basic features. It didn't come with a manual. The camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. Ah. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Purapad, indeed. Well then, teach you how to take pictures. Once we're done there, anyways. Once we're down there, anyways. There will be lots of monsters in the depths, though. So I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Uh-huh. Let's see. Guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. What? Wait, hang on. He poofed like Pokemon. <sighs> Looks like he's gone. Sorry you got roped into all this, swordsman. Goggles means well. When he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Don't leap before you look into a chasm. It's called death. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out, at least. Bright bloom seed times ten. Sure. Oh, take this too. Hey, supplies. Um... Chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach... A bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. That's cool. Like a, almost like a fire arrow. Or like dropping a flare or a chem light down a hole. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of the lookout landing's north southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, <laughs> but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, it Please look after goggles for me. Camera work in the depths. Interesting name. Josh's profile has been added. I don't really want to kind of do. I might. Oh. The manual I was just talking about. Yes, we are we're going to read that. So much reading about the map. Yes, you can surround the. Ter if you can surround, can't read. If you scan the surrounding terrain using a Skyview Tower, you can register the map into your pure pad. Additionally, you can travel instantly to the location of a Skyview Tower that you've already registered. Got it. Handy. Handy instant travel to a registered location. Feature has been dubbed travel. Uh, yes. Call it fast travel, quick travel, something like that. Not handy instant travel to a registered location feature. TM. But right, it's clever inventor portal. Okay. Um, I know about the adventure log. Can I use the pictures for anything? Put the camera point at desired target. Do so and save the targeted scenery or form in your album as a picture. Okay. Additionally, the pro pack can provide data on Hyrule's ecosystem. The subject reflected in a picture 
will be automatically identified, giving you the thrill of filling out your own compendium. That's what I was trying to do with the like lag. Guess I didn't wasn't aware of the feature yet, so now we can do, actually do that. Okay, that's good enough. Actually glad I did that. Okay, um, speaking of the adventure log. Alright, um, we'll get to one of those. Um, that's one I've already done, right? I believe so. So these all count as main quests. Man, I tell you, I like having actual quest logs like this. So you can keep track of what's story important and what's just, you know, side quest related. I like this. Okay, uh, that's gonna be there at the end of the game. Those are completed. Okay. I can choose to track... I can't track that one. That's just in general. Regional phenomena. I guess that's technically part of Crisis. Wait, what was I just reading? Yeah. Might be able to learn more by looking into the major phenomena, which is this one. Okay. But what do I want to do first? Camera work in the depths. This. This is more local. We'll go with that. Okay. We got Zelda, Kura, Rabi, Joshua, Raru, Hylian, Sheka. Also Sheka. Also Sheka. Explains the wardrobe. Wait, hang on here. Oh, I get it. So they were saying before that that's what she looked like before. And she was, uh, reversed her aging or whatever. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we'll get to that eventually. Or I might just, like, hover over each one. And you can pause it and read it yourself. That's a lot of reading. I don't really want to do a read-along for those. Anyways, um, that's the one that's tracking currently, right? Okay, so this is just this one section. Ooh, yes, but there's a shrine right there. Kenosis Shrine. I believe I had three marked. It's a shrine right next to the chasm. Let's see. Um, technically, that is closer. But I want that shrine. Okay. Uh, we'll hunt that shrine. And then... This looks very... Middle-Earth-esque. Yeah, so we'll go out to the shrine, then... Ah! I don't have a horse yet, this is gonna take time either way. I want the shrine. Then I'll get onto that. Wait. I think you've caused quite a stir since your arrival here. Ha! People do fuss, don't they? This is your first visit? To talk to that soldier in the center of our little fort. Were you hoping to register a horse? We're still getting things together on that front, so I'm afraid you'll have to hold on your <laughs> hold your horses a while longer. Heh. <laughs> register a horse? If you register a wild horse as your own, you can call that horse to you at a stable whenever you please. At a bigger roadside stables, not only can you register horses, but you can also stay the night. We didn't have room to build something that fancy here, but I did want to... I did want a place I could take care of the horses properly. Which is why Carson from Hudson Construction is planning to build us a mini stable. <laughs> Once it's finished, you'll be able to register board and take out horses just like you would in any other stable. Ah. I used to work at Rito Stable here. Rito Stable. Ah, the dear lord. <laughs> Tongue. I used to work at Rito Stable in Hebra. Had a good job taking care of horses. But the cold there kept getting colder, and business got slower. Time we had to close, so they got frozen out, huh? Last, last I heard, the place had been bought out by the Lucky Clover Gazette. Oh. 
just when I was feeling adrift, Kuro reached out to me about managing horses here at Lookout Landing. Before I knew it, here I was. Hmm. Be sure to bundle up before going to Hebra. The cold over there is intense. Um. That's right. Horses. So that's is actually what I'm seeing from here. That's a chasm. Goodness. Okay. So the shrine is up that way. I think I've got good enough supplies. As long as I don't get attacked too many times. Speaking of getting attacked, there's a whole horde right there. It'd be nice if I could find where the horses are. Um, what was it? There's a construction point. Those things. I forgot what they said about how to take a picture. It should be in my... No. Be over here. Throw material, scope and pens. Charge attacks. Nope. Well. Maybe I should do the chasm first. And then I can hit up the shrine. How close is it? Now, this distance may actually benefit me to use some sort of cart. Man. Because the thing is, if I go from here to here, then I gotta go all the way over. There's probably more shrines in the way, and there's a shrine right over here. <sighs> okay, chasm it is. So you're sure I can't rent a horse? Just gotta run the whole way. Right link. I hope your cardio is good. I do like the, the glowing of the Zonai weapons. Horse. Yes. Okay. Let's see if I still... Remember how to do this. From Breath of the Wild. You no, know, you hop on the back of them. A horse would make this so much easier. And now you gotta sneak, though. Closer I get, the more quiet I need to be. Move all his heads down. Stay in a general rearward direction. Just don't get horse kicked. Wants to do like five hearts of damage. Game over. I don't know what that was. Got stuck on a root. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, we'll just do this again. Just give me like chloroform for horses. Make it a little easier to catch.
The wind is blowing away from the horse. And... Mount! Tooth! Tooth! Maybe I'll better luck with this one's over here. Hang on, something fell from the sky. Oh, hey, hang on. Uh, we do need to mark that. This is our fourth shrine of the area. What fell from the sky? Is it just rocks in general falling now? Seems to be rocks in general. Okay. Um, that's actually fairly close. Yeah, I got out here a lot faster than I thought it would. Why is- hang on. Hang on now. Sky Island was deceptively large. This one seems deceptively small. The map. Huh. Hang on. Gone for a, a minute. It's nighttime already. Um. Hang on. I marked that one. Has that already been marked? No, that's way out further. This is really handy. Nighttime, you can see them glowing better. Oh, this is fantastic. I don't know what that is. That's another tower. Can't place any more pins. Okay. Um. That one's really close. Horse. Other horses. Go up to this one first. Hang on, what's that? Can't see it from this angle. I'm here, horsey. I'm here, transportation. You don't see me. He's got a camp set up right there. There's a shrine right next to it. Beautiful. Okay, horse. Spotted butt. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I have a horse now. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Keep soothing it. Oh, oh. Oh. I got a horse. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Question is, will it stay mine? Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Um. Oh. How do we get off? Oh, oh. Nope. Stay back. Um. Okay. Soup ladle. Who are all these dudes? Hi. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied to deal with the travelers right now. That's what you are, right? A traveler? This isn't safe here. Captain House's squad of the monster control crew going to engage monsters around here soon. I bet you by now they're already locked into combat with the monsters at the lair to the south. Oh. Not going to stop you if you want to go watch the sparks fly, but at least take some precautions first. I don't need to do that. Um. Come here. Huck. Okay, let's, yes, let's get this, get this dude very affectionate. 
get him to where he likes me. Easy. Follow me, follow me. Come on. Go straight. Yosin Shrine. Okay. Alright. Will you be here when I get out? I don't know. Find out. Let's see what we got this time. Shape rotation. Yosin Shrine. Okay. What does that mean? Shape rotation. Probably means I need to grab things. Oh. Lovely little view. Okay. Um. They're not a sign somewhere in here. I think I get the idea. Grab this sucker. Send it through. Drop it. Anything else in here? No. Back to the door. And I've got to rotate this sucker. To get me across. Okay, my guess is I need to rotate it. Like that. And then place it right there. Hit it at the wrong time, Link. Try that again. X. Oh, come on. I gotta run. Do I have to run jump this thing? It's a very small gap, Link. There we go. Okay, that's the first one. Oh, boy. Um... Clearly need both of these at some point. Grab. And we need to. How the heck? That's not gonna. There's no way that's gonna go through. But this one over here should fit. Okay, and I can climb up. Can I? I can't grab those. But I can hop on top of them. That doesn't work. Okay, it looks like I need to. Can I go up that way? I can. But I believe I need to take that one out of there somehow. And get it over. Wait. Huh? Place that there. What in- What in here can I move? I can't. I can't climb these up. I can't climb the surface. Nope, can't climb the surface. Okay. Somehow that thing is supposed to go through here then. If I rotate it the correct way. Ha. Huh. Okay. Um, can I lift it any higher? No, I cannot. Hang on. Um, so if I rotate it down this way. 
Okay. Nope, that wasn't it. Um, let's hit it this way. There we go. Okay. Which I do need it for up here. So let's, uh, uh, hang on. I just brought it through like this. Bring it down this way. And place it. Jump. 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 Chest. Be something cool. Hasty elixir. Don't be hasty. Grant a medieval... Grant a medieval haste. What is medieval haste? Grant mid-level haste effect, which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming, or climbing. For four minutes and ten seconds. Okay. That's worth it. Alright, let's um, look around first. Come back down, move it through there so we can climb up that way. Nothing there. Grab. Okay. Um. Wait, no. Uh. Down. Rotate. This way. Uh. Long ways, perhaps. We're getting there. Um. No, needs to be this. Yes. Okay, where on earth do I place this? Is the question. Uh, no. Uh, rotate this way. Back over one. That doesn't do it. I need something that gets me up to there. Oh, that might do it. Yes. This will do it. Okay. Um. Excuse you. Serves me right. I should have thought of that. Okay. Um. Rotate like this way. That's still gonna fall down though. Okay, what about this? All the wrong buttons today. No, not that. This. Okay. Let's rotate it down this way. Let's see if we can let it drop there. Maybe. Clearly, this is the way out. I don't think I'm supposed to say I can only get up this high to begin with. Okay, so... That's the input, but I don't think that's the way I need to have it either. No. Stop with that. Okay, uh... Back a little bit. 
almost had it. Come on. Where is this supposed to fit? Maybe like this, but it's too far away, isn't it? Oh, hey! Oh, that worked. Come on. I've almost got it. Okay. Grab a little more. This way. You can move it a little more side. Come on, Link. <sighs> okay, jump on. Okay. Come up. There we go. That was fun. Actually made me work for it. Enjoy our little yoga. A little meditation. They are the zone. The devices, constructs, are not their race. They're just a creation. Horse did put. Awesome horse. Good horse. Let's give the, give the horse a good pet. It's a good horse. Okay. Uh, map. So there's something there, something there. That thing right back there. And I located. I think those are shrines out in the next section of the map. I believe that is the next tower. Uh. Yes, chasm. Chasm thing, yes. Which is right next to me. Good horse. You only have two sprinting options though, so you're not the fastest horse. But you're a horse that'll work. You're better than walking on my own feet, though. Discovery. I will feel the chasm. He won't, he won't touch it. Okay. Okay, well, where's... Okay, come on, horse. Let's get, let's get a move on here. Gotta find where Robbie's sitting. Now we're at sprint speed. Nice jump. <laughs> little side hop there. Iron horse. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's good enough. I don't see where Robbie is. <laughs> Whoa! What's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of the chasm. We've discussed this. I might kick them in. Just to hear them scream. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Huh? Oh? Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. 
fine. Oh. Ah! Don't do it. You touched that. Well. It'll sap your strength and you'll end up like me. Too sluggish to move. Okay. That is good to know. Oh. Traveler, are you feeling okay? Folks are calling this stuff gloom. If you care about your health, it's best not to go near it. If you get any on you, you start losing your strength, like it's sapping away sapping your life away. <sighs> I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths and now look at me. You'll recover from the worst of it on your own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Some investigation leader I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. Completely reliant on Duval. So I really want to recover by nighttime. I thought he said recover by nightmare? Like, what kind of recovery strategy is that? Hello, good horse. Okay then, um Guess I just jump? I'm not behind you this time. Oh. Okay. Um. I kind of just want to let go. Okay, this is terrifying looking. there's a fire I can make it well no it's there's no light down here that's right um I'll talk to you ah oh. are you link pleasure to meet you I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team we're gonna call it the ZST Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived uh. but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds and now I run out oh I lost sight of him. Ah. Thought he was taking a short walk over there to that glowing area over there. Is that another shrine? Then he just kept going. And going. Last I saw him, he was headed way out there, off to the west. You have any bright bloom seeds with you? If I say I don't, will you give me some? Ah. Oh, I can throw them. Instead of just dropping them, that makes sense. And then the other person said I can attach them to an arrow and shoot it like a flare. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. Ah. Uh. Okay. Um. That must be their way up. Okay. So they want me. Is there any point climbing this? I don't think so. Go off that way. I am clanking and cluttering around. I think there's some kind of. Is the Shaka outfits? That gave you stealth. That's right. Come on, get close enough. Deep Firefly. Multi-winged insect. Good lord. Multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. That could be useful. Let's see how many more can I take? Gonna grab them all if I can. Gotta catch them all. Come here. Pokedex. 
Fine. Got most of them. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's uh. Select material to throw. I just want a regular one. Yeah. That's better. Throwing them is a lot more effective than just walking out and dropping one, I guess. Ooh. Okay. This uh the soyge light root. I'm curious what's at the top of this thing. If I can even climb that far yet. With the current current stamina I've got. And I really hope that horse is waiting for me out there. Whenever I get back up. Come to think of it, how do I get back up? I'm sure uh Robbie will have something. I got that hot air balloon down there. Too much quickly. Oh, oh, I'm right on the edge here. Okay. I don't think I can climb up that. But I can let go. Stand on this. I don't think there's anything up here. I'm just gonna. Slide right on in. The heck? Is this some kind of shrine? What is this? Oh, that's really bright. Are there a bunch of these down here that I can light up? Oh, wow. Oh, beat me up, Scotty. Is that a travel point? Depths? Enzo Baranzin. I think I said that correct. <laughs> I'll, I'll annotate that for any of you Ari Salvatore fans. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. And seems to be a travel point. Yes? Is it a travel point? Maybe not. So I'm headed out. Um, those might be on. Uh, yeah, those are out here. Depths. That is cool. Wait, this is where the Zonite, um, ore is. Why is that still the thing that's highlighted? Do I need to sit there or something? Talk to him again? Ah. Oh. Okay, well, I've, I've been through this part. Maybe I have to tell him that I have seeds. I do. Ah. Light from the, yeah, I saw that. Okay, yeah, ah. I, I got this part. Oh. That's that's all he says. Okay, um, why not go ahead and sit by, sit, sit, sit till morning. Okay, this is a fresh day. Got that sucker. That's the one I threw down. I threw down. I will throw down on some monsters here if I find any. And cutting grass does no good. No rupees, right? It's sad. What's this? Note on the table. Hey, you! It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. <laughs> I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. 
So you need a light source too, eh? You you need an entire guide and bodyguard service down here. That's what I'm hearing. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Ah, oh. Oh. So they're below each shrine then. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root I see shining west of here. You better hurry, so get up. Huh? So you better hurry up and get moving. It's useful. Glad he gave me a little note saying where he is. I see another one right over there. Um. Then I have to find a way around. Is there anything on these things? Oh. Say, I really love this whole subterranean look they got going on here. And they changed the music out too. It's awesome. I always like going in those, uh, like. Caves, underground, waterfalls, stuff like that. Um, I think. It's always cool to me. Just the thought of being. What is this? Muddle bud. A wildflower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Ooh. That'll come in handy in those big camps. That's how I got around from there. Do you have a note? <laughs> note on the table. As I stand on the table and stare down. That's an odd perspective, Link. Hey you, still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If the guy didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. And again, my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. Is shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. We'll be continuing to head west towards one of those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. You eventually stayed put, right? Huh? I hope. Am I headed in the right direction? Do I have a compass anywhere? Is there a compass on this map to tell me north, south, or east, west? I'm assuming that's north. I'm assuming it's just centered on the compass. So I'm gonna keep going that way. Ironically, I have, well, unironically now, those are places where I've mapped, marked shrines out. I'm curious, can I climb this? Yes, I can. Is there any reason to do so? Perhaps not. I'm not going that way. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I may have to toss a. Are those. Are those gloom keys? I didn't need that in my life. I don't want gloom keys. Go away. Muddle bud. Stay away from me, Gloom Keys. I assume that's what you are. I need to head this way. Going over that way, a lot more Gloom. Bomb Flower. Yes. I can't tell what's what yet. Okay, I'm gonna need to throw another one of these. Arch it up a little bit. Okay, that let up a little more space. That's a creature. Uh oh. What are these? Oh god. Ow. Bright bloom seeds up. So nice, bright bloom seeds. 
They come from creatures? That's funny. I mean, it makes sense. All right, does it make sense? Maybe they ate it. Oh, um, I'm awfully close to them now. A bomb flower should help. Let's go ahead and eat something. Um, wait, uh, wrong button. I need this. Yes. Um, I need three quarters of a heart. I don't want to eat the bird egg yet. It's a full heart. I don't want to waste that either. Plenty of these. That's, well, okay. Eat one of these. One mushroom. I think I'm going to be tossing a bomb at these guys over here. Perhaps I can sneak by. So I did not understand the camera function. That dude is massive, and I don't want any part of that. I need to throw another bright moon seed. Oh, you are massive, sir. No, thank you. But you are right by a fire. You probably made the fire, though. I assume I'm supposed to go this way. What is this? Mushroom. Mushroom that shreds a cloud of fine spores when a stimulus is, is applied. The bitter powder makes them inedible. Interesting. Okay, how many of these can I grab? I'm gonna start tapping A repeatedly. As I walk around. I can't go into this. This is gloom. And you're hovering above it. Okay. What? Hang on. I need to see. That's right. A hard horn that resulted from a skull mutation. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power, or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Okay, let's eat something. Um, a meal, preferably. Two hearts, I need more than that. Um, sure. I didn't recover my hearts! They don't recover down here. Alright, you giant flying creature. Climb the sucker. Can you climb, please? Uh, we're gonna throw a bomb. Hopefully not die. Where is the bomb? Yeah. 
There we go. Now I can climb it. What is this? Vocal bow. Okay. What's the, ooh? That thing's still alive. Okay. Um. I missed entirely what it said about damage taken from gloom. I'm a little unaware. Um, this is going to be Zonite stuff, right? Smash this. Ooh, large Zonite. Oh, that's nice. Regular Zonite. Okay. Rock hammer badly damaged. Okay. Um fourteen. Why is it doing fourteen now? Has it always been fourteen? Okay. I can make it to that light route. the sword but what's coming after me now oh there's another one there another archer huh problem right now I have one heart rock hammer um, I actually do need that. <clears throat> My current one is badly damaged. We're going to drop mine. Take the new one. We're going to pull out our bow. Going to attach something. Um, take him out. Gonna keep sneaking. Hopefully, not get attacked by that thing. Whatever it is, it was not a flight. It was not a case. Oh, what's this? Fire damage stuff. Fire fruit. Fire fruit is not pepper. It is different. I will take all their stuff. This is more of the zonite stuff. I don't need it at the moment. I did it. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I need another one. I can't see. Okay. Let's take this and attach a bright bloom seed. Construct bow is badly damaged. <laughs> Fantastic. Nothing dropped over here. A Rakuda eyeball. This eyeball is constantly trying to focus on its targets. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir, or attach it to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. That's fancy. Okay, let's make it up to this. Fine. We're gonna toss another one. Kinda this way? 
The shrine will heal me. I guess. I guess. <laughs> so these are the bottoms of shrines. But they're not shrines I've been to yet, necessarily. This is fun to watch. Should heal me, right? Please. Oh, hello. <coughs> Dispel darkness and brighten surrounding area. Okay, so it didn't heal me all the way. But it fixed that part at least. I want um I'll go and eat his and then I guess we'll eat a baked apple. And then an acorn. I only have two of those. These are the same amount, and I have 35. What about that? Okay, I'm fully healed now. More goblins over there. No, thank you. I don't want to deal with that again. Um. Ah. Here he is. What's the map look like now? That's something. I think that's up above. Where is he? <gasps> what? Look how bright that thing got. The light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous it's almost like like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you! I'm finally here! I need to show you what I found. Oh. This statue. It's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us from that place, piece of slate, doesn't it, don't you think? Good lord. Alright, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given one of the pure pad's basic features. Huh. Give me that pad for a second, alright? Well, there's a problem. The camera is locked. And so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. Correctly, you press this way, you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Bingo. Capture images on the per pad, you can save them to the album. Why are they all horse heads? Boom! Oh. I should be able to use both the camera and the compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Hang on. L. Ah, okay. Ah. Hey, you! How'd that go? Captured an image of the statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Unless you wanted a different perspective. Maybe he did. Did you get a good picture? I don't know. Stupendous. Looks like you captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research research was down here. But soon enough we're going to have to we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, 
Time to head back up to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Can I fast travel now? I want more of this side of it. Okay. Now, um... How do I zoom? I want to get a photo. Hey, there's another statue. Seems like there's several of them down here. So without getting attacked, I want a photo of these dudes. Zonite deposit. I'll toss some of these later, but Goblin. This looks different. Goblin. I don't like moblins. Moblin. <clears throat> okay, they're all... Let's see. Compendium. We have a goblin. We have moblin. Different from a creature. Okay. Creatures, monsters. Different things. Gotcha. Album. These two are important. Oh, hey, those are from the very beginning. I remember that. Okay. Um, we can toss some of these. Okay, we're not going to bother with those. Because the story is back up on top of the ground. We are definitely coming back here. This place is fun. Okay, um, give me a map. Above. They want me to go. I can travel to a shrine. Nice. Do that. Grab the horse. Go over there and grab that. There he is. My horse. He stayed. <whistles> Nobody stayed, but okay. Yep. Hey, buddy. Ha. Ha ha. Ha. Okay. Turn down the road. Ha. Let me check my map. Some of these pins disappear as I as I use them. Okay, I mean we're going that way anyways. We're probably going. I'm not sure which one of these is closer to be honest. Looks like this is the green one. Okay, we'll take a slight detour. Come on. Those are keys. Okay. I 
to gather their stuff, please. <laughs> Down. Take all their bits. Oh, hang on. in ruins. Okay. Oh. Is this where this tower is? Hang on. Let's flip, flip. Horse. What did I see that I had marked over here? Huh. That tower looks like it's a little off in the distance. Much further. That's that might be that way over there. Okay. Um. Huh. I'm not sure what over here I had marked. Honestly. Huh. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh. Huh. Oh. Other than this area in general. it's evening there are other creatures about oh. Oh, oh. I want this oh. shrine okay oh, oh, oh. good boy shrine I'm at two right now. This will be number three. A spinning device. So, so you guys, right? What does this mean? Ooh, those have wheels on them. Wrong thing. Let's grab this closest one. Okay, I want to rotate it this way. Ooh! Catch. this. 
I don't know which way they go. And bring it back towards me. these things. Hang on. Perhaps my camera will help. Uh, camera is this now. It does not tell me anything. Let's unattach one. What is it? Other than its direction. Okay. Put it back. We'll put it back on there. That should stay put. Um. I don't know how far I need to go with this. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I need to take these. I do need them. I do need them after all. Okay. Let's rotate further. Okay, so we're gonna attach one here. Hey, okay, I did it. Got two here. Um I need it to move this thing. Uh nope this way I'm going to rotate it this way bring it close to me hop on here grab um, not waste that. <laughs> the heck? Okay, fine. That makes sense. I think. Keep rotating. Okay, so... That's it right there. Hop on. Activate it. This may take a very long time. What happens if I pick one up? Bring it back in. And attach here. What do I hit it with? There we go. That's a lot better. I was about to say, that was taking way too long. That rail made a lot of difference. Axe and shield. Basically any- well not- I was gonna say anyone can be cleansed. Maybe any Zonai, because apparently they have all the same abilities that the hand has. So long as you go through the puzzles and prove yourself worthy.
There's three. Oh, I remember now. So, I imagine it's the same, uh, goddesses, the statues of light, that, um, when you get four, you can get a stamina section or a heart. I might want to do stamina next. Isn't that always the debate? Do I want more health or don't want more energy? More stamina so I can do more things. What's that? Yeah, so I believe every time you visit the place you've got marked, it takes away the pen automatically. Speaking of which, that means I can... That's already marked. Because this one marked yet, so... Uh, this. It's not marked yet. Something I can climb up on top of. Okay, I know what that is. I know where that is. Hey, horse. Nope, he still won't come when called. At least he stays put. What is it that I have marked? Yeah, 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 I know. Construction. I'm gonna make a platform. So I can stand up taller. That might help a little bit. Um, come on, buddy. Let's go. Okay, what, where is this green marker I have? Right there. What did I mark? I may have marked the wrong spot. Honestly. Because that's not anything of use. That's just... Uh, Creatures. Okay. You stay put. We're gonna deal with this. I'm gonna save that for the big boys. Yeah, it looks like that didn't properly mark what I was going for. I imagine I was trying to get Worm Darner. Dragonfly, a special organ that causes it to sweat profusely. Cook it with monster parts from Luxor to raise your core temperature so you can resist the cold. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, it seems as if I did. What? Oh. There's explosives over there. Seems I didn't mark the area correctly. Oh, what do you know? They have... perfectly... lined up... explosive barrels. Did that not blow anything up? Are you kidding me? They don't have any explosive barrels over here. Well, I don't feel like dealing with them. Where's that bomb? I know I've got a few, at least. Perfect. Traveler's bow. Hey, five. It's 
small bow used by travelers for protection. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but can be used to attack foes from a distance. So let's go ahead and equip that then. Same as my other ones. Okay. Bouncy stick. That's odd. Baked apple. Traveler sword. Ow. What's this? Seared prime steak. Alright. Sounds tasty to me. Yeah, so this apparently is what I marked. Um, it's probably not what I was going. I was going for that tower. I imagine. Where is that? I'm looking right there. You know, that's actually pretty close. So, um... Horse. Will you come to me, horse? Apparently not. Yeah, it's literally right there. We're gonna... We're gonna blow something up. I need fire for it, don't I? Something to ignite. What? Oh god. What is this? Come. The forest is waking up. It isn't safe. The trees have grown wild and dangerous. And ever mean. What is that? Okay, let's go. Let's go. I I did not know there were ants in this game. Oh ho! Yeah. I do not want to deal with an ant. No, thank you. Come back shortly. Yeah. After I deal with this. Oh, oh. Yeah. I want the tower. I want ah. the shrine. Uh tower first. Exchange ruins. How do I get up there? Oh, oh hang on, hang, hang, hang. Slow, slow down, horse. I gotta figure out what this is. Something I can use to get up here and climb it myself. Okay. Can I open this while I'm here? No, but I guarantee you I can set up that thing as like a little prop. So, actually, no, I want this. Going to um, yes. Okay, set it down right here. Here's I need to use these things. Okay, so let's. Rotate it this way. That's not what I wanted. Work with me. No. Left. 
Okay. Angle this way. Probably need both of them. So, this way. Oh, no, no. And then right here. And then I should be able to attach this. Go so there. Well, apparently just to one of them. Okay, which means I can just use one, and I can take this. Set it right there. Kinda wish I could just carry these, like, these, uh, stakes with me. Okay. Can I not open the chest? I don't understand. Um, tower. Yes. Uh, where's my horse? Right over there. Okay, get the tower. Ho, ho. And then pick up the shrine. Then we'll have enough for another heart or stamina. And then we'll head back into town. <laughs> That's an entire fort. Maybe we don't pick up this tower yet. Unless there's a way to sneak in. Is there a way to sneak in? Because I don't want to have to take out an entire fort right now. Looks like even if I could climb that. That's something. Is it spike all the way around? Oh, I can build a platform. This could be really good. Yes, I want that. Useless. Okay. Um, first off, let's go up here and get this. It's actually a pretty good spot to stand, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. That's something. I wonder if I can set that on fire from here. No. It appears not. Can I build a platform? Um, I have one log. Looks like I don't have enough supports. There's trees over here. I wonder if maybe that's the way you're supposed to do it. Okay, where's this go? I might get sneak attack this dude. Thing is, I kind of want this tower. If it takes too terribly long, I can just cut it.
Oh, that's right. I've got um more armor to equip when heading into battle. Ah, oh, fine. Attack so I can parry. Nope, I didn't do it. There we go. Die. Blue Goblin. Yep. Two pronged horn, sharp edges, and tips. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase attack power. Seven. That's pretty good. Um, in the meantime, I need to eat something. Um, I don't need that much. Actually, that'll do decent right there. That's all I need. Or half, okay. Okay, let's pay a little better attention this time. Shoot one of those with an arrow. Because that'll make more sense. Then trying to sneak attack that or whatever. So let's get this. Fire fruit. He didn't die. At least that was most of it. Blue Moblin Horn. Large 13. 13 fuse power. That's impressive. Okay. This is turning out to be worth it. I do remember the different colors have different strength. Strength. Different difficulties. I remember that. Listen, bruvs. I just want. Oh, God. See how it be. Yeah. Since I can use that steel thing to just push him away. Just just deal with it. This is actually kind of funny.
Oh, gee. X. Ow. Okay. Won't be like that, is it? Man. <sighs> they hit pretty hard, don't they? At least right now they do, anyways. That won't always be the case, though. One of these days... And... Drop. Okay, uh... Yes, now I want to grab this. That's, that's a bit much. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'm running out of snacks that are big enough, man. Let's just eat a bunch of these, huh? Just shoving shrooms in my mouth. And this shield is badly damaged, you told me. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I'm gonna shoot a bomb in there. Why not? I want this tower. Oh, hang on. I need a bomb. You're the big boy. You're worthy of a bomb tower. Good face. Just, what the? Somebody died, didn't they? Come on. Hey. Is this not something right here? Okay. Did I not just blow up that dude? killed myself okay it would seem that tower is a no-go right now come on ow where's my food Right there. Good to know. It's really close. Okay. This shrine, and then meet up with uh, Robbie. A fixed device. Maya can shrine. Okay, we're gonna need. We'll probably need this. Eventually. Looks like. That's looks like something I can grab and take off. Okay, um. And what is this? What does this do? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Great. 
Hey. Thanks for taking a heart from me. Where's this thing? Oh, I see. Gotcha. So, no, I don't need that. I need this. I need to take this up. I don't need it going that way. Up. Right about here. It still wants to go that way. Okay, so I need to make another one, it seems. Those... Oh, hang on. Those rotate things. Oh, what, what? Hang on. So I want it to hit that way. Okay. Mm, I did it again. Okay, so one of those needs to be attached to this thing. Rotate it this way. All the way around so I can just bring it closer to me. Add a radius. And attach. No, I don't want that attached to it. Um, and then maybe this one. Yes. To that. Can move this. Oh, hang on. There's that thing. Um, I'm not. Ah, uh, what is going on? Oh, this is confusing. I need to move this sucker because it's getting in the way of stuff. So we're going to take this one out. And just set it there for now. Um. Uh, drop that. That was a little terrifying. Uh, so next one. Okay. Was that it? That was one over here. Uh, how do I hit that thing? So that thing. I'm going to have to move this so can I attach this it needs uh there's not a way I can break the chains is that it's clear I need to send it that way. Um, I can't grab the actual thing in the middle. I think I have actually opened up the main part, but I want whatever is over there. So we're going to whack it and see what it does if I hit it the right spot here. I'm not sure where to set that then. Okay, it's with very like a three. Maybe 
Maybe try and hit soon. How do I get it over there? Maybe something needs to cause it to bounce. Maybe like here. I have no idea what was going on. Wait, late, it seems. Too late, okay. Um, I got the right idea going. That's still to that side. There. Now that's to the middle. Okay. <laughs> I think we've almost got this. There we go. <coughs> That's fun. <laughs> that was actually really enjoyable. Okay, what you got? Energizing elixir. Awesome. Okay. Let's try not to lose any more hearts while I'm in here. Get our light blessing and then go examine <coughs> you know what? this time we will skip it light of blessing oh now i have enough Okay, now that it's evening, or early morning rather, everyone is sleeping. Let's see, how far away am I? Or should I just fast travel? But then I won't have my horse with me, will I? Let me bring, let me just, yeah, the horse isn't going to stay with me. Let's keep going. Please. Stay away from the trees. Oh. Yeah. I'm just gonna book it. Okay. <laughs> so this guy said I can't register a horse. Huh. DL talk. Still getting set up. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, we'll just hoof it. <laughs> Instead of bringing the horse across this. Wait, no, I'll go talk to him. That's right. Success! Ah. Hey, you! Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and looks darn cool, too. Hey! This is it! This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory. The people lived in the depths. 
I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, something I want to give you as a thanks for helping with this stage of the investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Zonite. Thank you. Hmm. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power. Like maybe it's energy for something. Yes. Anyway, these might help us. These might help you in your search for Princess Zelda. So hopefully, you find them useful. Whoa. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. There we go. And that does count as a main quest. Awesome. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. We found out that Hyrule is a lot bigger than we thought initially. Uh, I'm really glad I found a horse. found out that we're still such a baby when it comes to our ability to attack or defend. Because some blue book goblins can just wipe the floor with us. Found some awesome stuff down in the depths. I'm really looking forward to doing more of that. And uh, there's a there's a bird guy up here at the top of these steps. So we'll talk to him next time. Until then, give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Share, this, share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. Leave a comment. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Backing out.